Construction began on the greatest of the beach resorts in 1893. It was designed as a Moorish palace by architect Richard Kletting, who had also designed the Lake Park Pavilion and who would later design the Utah State Capitol Building. 2,500 wooden pilings were driven into the lake bed, making a platform for the world's largest dance hall, 600 bathhouses, and a pier over 1,000 feet long. On Memorial Day of the same year, Salt Air was open for business. 10,000 people visited that first day, and the crowds kept on coming. Trains ferried people to and from Salt Air every 45 minutes from 9.30 a.m. to midnight. 50 cents bought you a round-trip train ticket and admission. Swimming was very popular, despite the fact that the salt could irritate the skin, nose, and eyes, and diving into the dense water could really hurt. Later, when the sun went down, salt air lit up, and it was time for dancing. <laughs> 